All right, let's look at another couple of questions. What is the hydroxide ion concentration of a 2.0 molar sodium hydroxide solution? So first off, you have to ask yourself the question, is this an acidic or basic solution? Well, what do we have to go with? Oh, we got a formula. We're either checking pHs or we're checking formulas. Well, sodium hydroxide. Well, what is this? Oh, it's a base. You've got that hydroxide ion there. So that tells you it's a base. Well, what do we know about bases? Well, we know a couple things. We know that their pHs are always greater than 7. And we know that their hydroxide ion concentration is always greater than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. Now, if we look here, we also know that if we look at sodium hydroxide, for every mole of sodium hydroxide, we have one mole of, of hydroxide ion. So if we have a two molar sodium hydroxide solution, we also have a two molar hydroxide ion solution. So this is an easy problem. It's asking for the hydroxide ion concentration. Oh, well, the hydroxide ion concentration of this basic solution is 2.0 molar because the molarity of the hydroxide ion in this case is the same as the molarity of the sodium hydroxide. Why? Because for every one mole of sodium hydroxide, we have a mole of hydroxide. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if we have a two molar sodium hydroxide solution, we have a two molar hydroxide ion solution. Does that fit my criteria? Is that greater than 10 to the minus 7? Yeah, this is 10 to the first. This is way bigger. So that would be a reasonable answer. How about the second part? Well, now we want to find out the hydrogen ion concentration of this solution. Well, keep in mind, if this is a base, then I know that my hydrogen ion concentration for basic solutions is less than 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. So since it's less than, that's kind of our target region. So what do we know? Well, we know that the hydroxide ion concentration times the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. We know that. Okay. And because this is an aqueous solution. So what do we know? Well, we know the hydroxide ion concentration from up above. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. 2.0 times our hydrogen ion concentration is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14. Do our little algebra. H plus is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 2.0. All right, let's go ahead and calculate that. 1.0, use my EXP key, EXP, negative 14, divided by 2 equals 5.0 times 10 to the minus 15. 10 to the minus 15, that's smaller than 10 to the minus 7. So this is a reasonable answer. since this is a basic solution.